up world? It's your boy Depressed Trap Kid. Welcome back to the Tales of the Cool Vlog. Today we have a very special episode. We're out here on Rodeo Drive on a Sunday afternoon. I'm running into a few stores. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm into. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm not into and possibly pick up a piece or two. Y'all know my body. So let's have some fun and let's get to it. Come on. Guys, real quick too. Even if y'all shopping, man, Put your mask on, man, you know? You don't want people feeling weird, you know? Practice social distancing is important. One thing I notice as I'm walking, the lines in front of Louis, Dior, and shit, you know, like the popular brands. And there's nothing wrong with that, you feel me? I'ma show y'all where I'm going. There's gonna be no line in front of the store. And if y'all shop at Rodeo, y'all know what I mean by the lines. Shout out to all the love. Shout out to everybody that's been supporting me from day one. The Press Trap Kid merch coming soon. But it's cool though, we vibing. Sunday afternoon, just chilling. section inside the Celine store. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all a few pieces and I'm gonna show y'all the items that I'm going to buy today. It was very easy for me to cross over to Celine coming from St. Laurent because Eddie is not a creative director here and I think that was a dope move on Celine's behalf. So we're gonna walk into the fan room right now. I'm gonna try on the items that I'm gonna buy and I'm gonna show y'all why I'm into it and what I think and I'm gonna give y'all a few pointers on how to put it together and that's it. So let's go. essentials, pieces that I feel all men should have and own in their closet. Now, comment below um, if you guys know other brands that's maybe a little more affordable, but this is just the items that I'm buying, but they're still essentials. They have different price ranges on essentials, but this essential right here are some that I feel every guy should have. Like for example, every man should own at least a pair of chino. I mean, even if it's not Celine, you gotta own a pair of chinos. These are very relaxed, they're very comfortable. You can put them on. You can um, just wear them with a lot of different Jordans, Air Forces. But this is definitely a, a essential that a guy should own in their um, closet. Again, comment if you guys know another brand that's more affordable, I would love to know about it. Also, a denim jacket. Every man shall at least own one of these. Now, I'm into the vintage Levi's, the vintage Lee's. Um, Nego be buying like $10,000, 1940 Lee denim jackets and shit like that. So I'm into the whole denim jacket shit. But this right here is also another essential in my opinion. Again, even if it's not from Celine, please comment below. Let's talk about it. Tell me what other joints you guys like that you guys are personally into. This is a vintage style, as you can see, he did it vintage with the little triangular stitching coming up. You know, Eddie, you know, just kept it real classy. Nothing, nothing extra. All right, guys, um, pardon, pardon the gray shirt, because this is the shirt that I came to shop in. I literally came in my shirt as some champions. But if you guys can see the look that I'm going with, as y'all can see, look, these are the chinos. See the fit? Now, you see how Eddie made it a little more relaxed here, a little more loose? Cause you know, baggy's like kind of back in. Not saying this is baggy, this is very comfortable. But at the same time, I believe that I might possibly get him hemp. I spoke to my guy over here. I'm telling him that I might just get him a little hemp, just right here like on the side, just to catch just a little more skinny vibes, kind of into that. But if I just want to walk out with this like this alone, I would, honestly. You know, just keep the vibe, just keep the detailing. This looks very comfortable. You know, I'm not doing too much. I don't have a lot of logos on me. I'll put on a tee under it, like probably like a white tee, plain white tee, shit like that. And um, yeah, now I'm gonna put on the black one real quick. Honestly guys, I think I'm just gonna buy this one and the chinos because I have like Stan Smiths that I own that I can wear with this outfit. As y'all can see, I have Air Forces on right now. This is all uniform. Again, guys, remember, Air Force Ones, Stan Smiths are uniform. Don't feel uncomfortable because you don't have a thousand dollar pair of like stupid bulky Balenciaga runners or you don't have a thousand dollars to get 
a Dior silhouette. Listen guys, there's ways around it. People chasing clout, people running by chrome heart jeans and doing a lot of silly shit. Be yourself. This is me. When I walked in Celine, literally no line outside. They not on it, they lost. You get know what I'm saying? They got lines in Dior, they got lines in Louis. And shout out to that shit, shout out to all that shit. But when I walked in here, it was no line. You feel me? It's a vibe, y'all. This shit costs, but it's also relaxed. If I'ma spend my money, I'ma spend my money on items, honestly, that I can wear more than once. Cause when you buy all that silly Louis Vuitton shit, all that Dior shit, it's so much, so much monograms. You wear it once or twice, it's old already. This is a silhouette, this is a staple. I'm trying on the black one. I'm still undecided about navy blue or the black. As you can see, same kind of vibe, relaxed but heavy, you know, but this one got the Celine Paris in the back. So this kind of gives you like that extra, uh, that extra swag, you feel me? Do I like the Celine Paris in the back? Absolutely, I think it's fucking amazing. But I'm just feeling this though as well because like, this don't say Celine, you know? This, this doesn't say Celine, nowhere, you know? So I'm kind of more into this. I feel like I'm trying to stun on people with this, you know? But I don't know, what you guys think? Comment, comment under, please. I appreciate it, just tell me what y'all think of everything. Also, in Saint Laurent, which is pretty interesting, uh, food for thought for you guys that shop online, because uh, this almost happened to me. In Celine, I'm a 50 in the Teddies. They're cut a little smaller. So if you're shopping for Teddies with Celine and you're a 48 because you wear 48 with Saint Laurent, you have to go up to 50 for this, okay? So if you're a 48 in Saint Laurent, you're a 50 in Celine. I just figured I'd tell you guys that. All right, guys, Um, I decided to uh, pass on the uh, denim jacket. I'm still deciding between this one and the Saint Laurent one. Um, two will be continued as far as this. So this will be a no, but it's fire though. Don't get it twisted, it's fire. I'm gonna go with the blue one. Um, I own the black on black uh, Saint Laurent Teddy. I got a black Saint Laurent biker. I got a black Saint Laurent souvenir jacket. So I wanna switch it up. So I wanna add some color. So I decided to go with the navy blue and these chinos that I have on. I'm gonna have them alter them a little bit on the, on the side. But guys, again, this fit is already comfortable. You know, I might just wear it like this first and then come back and alter them. But I'm just gonna just make them a little more skinny just right here on the side. Just, just take some in right here, just make them a little more slim. But yeah, this was your tour, guys. This is what I'm into, man. Celine, man, 2020, you heard? The Press Trap Kid, real quick. All the love, I appreciate it. All the hate, y'all can eat a dick. I don't give a fuck. We winning. I love y'all. The press trap kit merch coming real soon. I'm working on that as we speak. Love y'all. Thank you for tuning in. It was fun. I just wanted to show y'all tutorial and things that I like. More to come. And yeah, let's do it. Love y'all. Peace.